Hi guys, my name is Subtutor, I'm the man on the Silver Mountain, and welcome back to Subnautica. Now, I've been trying to get back to my main base out on the edge of, uh, of the reef for a while now. This will be my third attempt. And uh, the issue I've been having is that the map hasn't been loading in properly. So even when it looks like the map is solid and it's there, I've been falling off through it and originally that's weird that color that thing's color has changed as well just no no apparently it hasn't it's just fucking with me um <clears throat> but ultimately um I was thinking the as I'm having difficulty seemingly doing a fairly simple task and I'm not sure if it's because I'm using the teleporters I'm not sure if it's because I'm using the transit network left by the precursors as it were and so because I'm moving much faster across the map from point A to point B because it's just teleporting me um, whether or not that means that it's having trouble keeping up by loading in all the map uh, that's that I'm headed towards so you know I, I figured I'd bring you guys in because I wanted to get back to the base grab some bits and pieces because we've got two uh, two purple artifacts so far but if we're going to do the caches I believe there are three so we need at least one more um, oh apparently oh I didn't realize we were walking into a cave um, but yeah, so I, I want to do that, and I wanted to do, um, because I'm away during Christmas, I wanted to make sure that you guys have videos, and so I wanted to do all the Subnautica videos, one after the other, and I wanted to do a whole load of other bits and pieces as well, but if things aren't loading in at the moment, to the extent that I'm having real difficulty just getting back to my base to grab some things and sort some stuff out. Because we, we need diamond. And I'm pretty sure we've got some diamond uh, in a locker somewhere um, back at our, our main base. So I just want to get there. You know, I, I just want to get there and... Uh, eh. So this is this is the area where things started to go wrong because the to begin with the map didn't load in. Get the hell away from me! Ready? Where'd he go? There he's gone. Hopefully exploded into lots of little fleshy pieces. Um. But yeah, so we want to get. See. See, now that, that, that's just unsettling. When something big and white and metallic just randomly appears in front of you, that's just disturbing. Um, but like the first time I came back out here, I got within about 500 meters and then the floor was no longer solid. So I fell straight through it. Didn't even hit the jelly shroom caves, just went straight down. Then I got to about here last time and I did land on top of the jelly shroom caves and then the game basically decided that it didn't like me doing that because even though I hadn't intended to and it crashed to the extent that it shut itself down completely by itself which was fun So I'm trying to be kind of careful this time. We've been in life pod 17. I know that there have been resets and things, but let's let's just have a quick check, shall we? Yeah, we've got this one already. That's fine. Anything else? No. There we go. Right. Hopefully us just standing there has given it some time to load some more in so that we don't just fall down into the... Ab 
abyss again. But... Yeah. Because I got some things that I want to do with you guys that you guys can... can join me on during the Christmas period whilst I'm away. One of which is I want to go and um, take a look at the the, the meteor strike uh, area off in the dunes. Then I want to come back and find our way down to where as far as I'm, I've been informed the cuddlefish is. Because we need a cuddlefish. Before we leave the planet, we need a cuddlefish. Before all of the end game is actually properly instituted and everything else is just finished and, and set in motion and whatever else, we need to go and find a cuddlefish. No two ways about that. Fish that, that are smart enough to, to interact with us and be friendly and communicate in various ways, even if they're not super intelligent. You know, think... Everyone needs pets. Everyone needs entertainment. Imagine how much the Altera board of directors would love to have a new kid's best friend pet toy thing that they could market to everybody as long as they had, like, uh, the facilities for an aquarium. Which, surely, considering we have them here in a completely survival-based situation... Um, Surely they would too. Okay. Let's be careful because I don't want to fall through the map again. I don't want to disappear into the void again. We've been to the dead zone. We've been to the void. We don't want any more of that. Quartz. Isn't that nice? But we need diamond. I mean, this doesn't have any struts all of a sudden. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure if it's the graphical enhancements that mean that it's it's taking longer just to load stuff in because it needs to make it look prettier. Or if it's just because I've now put so much in the map, as it were. But, you know, I don't want to fall off into, like, nothingness if I can possibly avoid doing so you know we've we've got a lot of stuff to do okay so we could use some food we could use a drink I mean we've only got water I mean oh we've got coffee oh yeah we should probably sort you out at some point because we're running we're starting to run down on power Back. We're running down very quickly on power. Are you inactive as well? No, you're active. Well, how much have you got left? You've, you're still full. Okay. Well, let's see if we've got diamond kicking around to begin with. Because one of the other things that I want to do is... After, uh, there, there are a couple of the... Um, quartz diamond. We've got one diamond. I think we need two, don't we? Yeah. I'm sure I, I could have sworn we had more than just the one kicking around, though. Unless we used it all for some stuff, which we might have done. I mean, we've got a whole load of uranite and a fair amount of lead and stuff. So, in fact, we should probably sort that out and, and slap them into our nuclear reactor to get some of that power back. Oh, here we go. Diamond. Great. So we've got ion crystals and diamond. And so we can... Let's just quickly... Uh, where is it? No, nope. Here. Uh, tools. No. Nope. Equipment. Yes. I don't think we need an orange one, but I think they only need purple. I think. If not, we'll come back and sort it out. But what, what do we need for... Uh, our nuclear rods, titanium, glass, lead, and three uranite. Okay, so we, we had a fair amount of uranite over here, didn't we? Uh, three, six. Okay, so we can do two rods. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Uh, we need lead. Two lead. We needed glass as well, didn't we? Because they keep changing these recipes around a little bit. Yeah, so we just need two glass. We, we got quartz. Can't remember where we got quartz. Is it here? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Cool. Did I click that? No, I didn't click that second one the last, the right number of times. No, it's not that. It's the fact that I've got a full inventory. You can go. You can come with me. I don't really need you either at the moment. The rest can stay. Right. Um... Oh, well, damn it. We needed the titanium. All right. Where are you? One, two. Cool. Um, okay, so... Kill... Let's sort the glass out first. Because we have to. And then... Let's just... Fashion these quickly. And now we've got three artifacts... Oh, we need food and drink, really, as well. But, yeah, we can... How much space do we have? We can go two at a time. One, two. Three, four. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. Right, let's go and slap these uh, these rods into our nuclear reactor. Uh, unequip, unequip, unequip. Slap those two in there. We should probably at some point get like, what's it called? A nu nuclear dis nuclear waste bin or something. Two two titanium. Let's let's get that because then we can we can free up the spaces that we've currently got. Occupied by. Um... Oh, didn't mean to take the silver. Let's do this. Just whilst we're here, we may as well. Uh... Let's, let's go downstairs, actually, stick it next to the nuclear reactor so that whenever we've got them, we can just uh, slap them straight in here, right? Okay, so let's slap that away. Uh, you and you and you. Okay, let's quickly... I know I said I wanted to go out to the dunes, but hopefully that shouldn't take too long. But I'm just wanting to sort this out whilst I'm actually here, whilst I remember to do it. So give me a second. Didn't have any more kicking around, did we? No... No, cool. Right, so let's just slap these down there as well. We've got all of the, the bits and pieces that we... Oh, they just disappear when you close the thing. That's useful. Um, but right, so we're, we've got food, we've got drink. I mean, we don't have food on us, but, you know, it's fine. Right, now... Let, now we're going to head up that way, up across in that direction... And then we might, like, I'm thinking we'll get there. Aren't you a bit, well, I mean, I suppose there's greenery up there that you hide in. So that's fine. You can stay. What I'm thinking is, oh, sorry, boomerang. What I'm thinking is if we head... Up towards the dunes as carefully as we possibly can. Which, if we head kind of this way, should be fine. Because we don't want to go too far out onto the edge of the dunes, because that's where you've got the, um, the Reaper Leviathans. And we don't have a great track record with them not trying to kill us. So... Back off, buddy. Okay. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to head to the dunes. We're going to kind of skirt in a little bit so that we don't bump straight into a, a Reaper Leviathan. We're going to try and keep our eyes peeled in case one of them comes at us. But we're going to try and get to the meteor strike, like impact zone or the impact crater. Yeah, which is we, which is what we were headed towards before. But we um, that was when we found that cave just full of sea crowns. Which was oh so useful and exactly what we wanted. But what I'm thinking is, if we sort ourselves out at the meteor crater, if we need food, we'll grab some more food. We've got water um, and stuff, so that's fine. Is this the way down to the blood kelp? Yes. Okay, so we're headed in the right direction, but just kind of want to skirt maybe just in a little more. But once we've been to the... to the, the meteor crater, then apparently the next cache from what I've I've taken a look at between episodes from what I've read the next cache is in the northern blood kelp zone load in, cool, thank you which is that way it's kind of between the dunes which we're now kind of heading into and the um, oh, I don't know if that's because that's not one of mine. But there's a Reaper Leviathan right there. Scary, creepy bastard. I don't want to take my eyes off him just because I know that he'll disappear and then we'll be snuck up on because they're ourselves. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to climb up this edge here and skirt round because there was something down there but it could have been a wreck because there are wrecks down there. It didn't look like it was under the, under the, the like surface of the sand and stuff. So that's fine. Because the, the meteor crater is a big old hole with a rather surprisingly spherical rock in the center of it. Why is it getting dark? Why? Why, why couldn't it stay well lit? Why couldn't my job be easy? Huh? Why'd it have to become dark and scary and ominous all of a sudden? Oh shit. Oh, mushroom zone. Ah, relative safety. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have to then try and skirt round very carefully, considering it's now getting dark. And that reaper bugger is still probably out there somewhere. Just waiting to come and try and eat me. Shh, 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 jelly friends. Oh, there's a warper. I like that they give off just a little bit of light. Just a little bit. Just in case. Are you coming for us? No, you're just warping out again. Okay, do you know what? We're going to cling to the edge of the mushroom zone because it is very dark and somewhat scary. I'm hoping that we can spot the beginning of the crater from here, but I don't I can't remember how far out or down it is. Because this looks like the edge of a crater. But it might not be. And it could just be scary death. Copper ore. Okay. 
you know what? I probably should have brought some flares. So I could just quickly hop out of Hardy here. Chuck one and just see where it goes. Like, this is the dunes. That that we can say with some level of certainty because we've got just just sand. Nothing but sand. But this is this is the issue that I'm having now. The because I can't see a damn thing. I know full well. Oh, there's a warper over there. I, I still don't know if the warpers are going to come try and get us because we've got we got cured. Nope, they're just going to go away. Okay. Okay, so there is more sand here. But, again, I don't know if this is sand that leads to anything significant, or if we just fall off... into nothingness and everything goes horribly, horribly wrong. I mean, we've got a, a wreck here. But that doesn't really tell me anything useful or important. I don't have a beacon on me, do I? No, I... Oh, yes, I do. I do. Okay, so we're definitely in the dunes now. I s just can't see anything. I mean, I can see you. Hopefully you won't bother me. Because I'm cured now. I'm no threat. No risk. But I'm like, is it, is it down? Is it down this way? Or is it across that way? I don't know. I'd love to be able to tell you, but I don't. I can't. I mean, here we're reaching the lip again of somewhere. But is this... No, this is just more sand. More sand and terrifying darkness. Okay, so what are we headed towards? We're headed towards the bulb zone, sort of, at the moment. Okay. That sounds like a Reaper Leviathan. Go away. Oh my god, he's right there. I, I don't want your attention, please. I kind of want to go this way. Oh. Where is he? Oh no. Oh, I can see the tail, but that's all I can see. John, let's let's walk along some more, shall we? to see if it's further along this way maybe I know that it, it like I've fallen off the 
Please tell me the ground is solid. I saw you just shift out of the ground. I know that sometimes you guys fall into the ground anyway, but... Because before now, I've come to the edge of the... Like, I've, I've been to the crater before, briefly. Because I came along from the, the mushroom zone and kind of fell off into it. But that doesn't really help me excessively right now. When I can't see a damn thing. And the things that seem to enjoy ruining my day are just at the bottom. Okay, so we've got... We're kind of in line with the shallows. Let's... Because this seems like a hole. This seems like a, a further drop-off than just your normal drop-off. But is it too... Where are... Ooh! Is it me or does that look like a spherical rock? Ah, oh, we're here. Ha. Huh. And then that that's the the cache over there, but I want to scan the rock. Can I not scan the rock? I thought we could scan the rock. Just hope that nothing comes for us. No? Can we not scan the rock? All right then. I thought we could scan the meteor, but apparently we can't. Welcome to board. But that, that over there looks like a cache. So as long as nothing comes to eat us, we should be able to go inside and have a look around and see what we can see. Well, I think, yeah, let's leave Hardy here, shall we? So that we don't get stuck again, because we've had like poor experiences with that previously. So let's just venture down here. Yeah, here we go. Slap that on. I'm almost positive I can hear a Reaper Leviathan, but I, I think that might just be me being paranoid now. Sod's Law, one would have spawned in here and just comes flying down this narrow passageway with no escape. But I don't think it will. Okay, so we've got stuff, we've got data entry, which we'll take a look at in a minute. We've got stuff to steal, as much as I don't think we should steal it, we're going to. Then we're going to do some scanning quickly, just to see if, if there's anything we can scan. We scan up here? No? No? Nothing to scan? Nothing to scan. Just the just the data to download. Okay, let's get back to Let's get back to Hardy and then we can have a quick look at the new PDA data. Okay, so what we got? What we got? Uh, data downloads, alien data, terminal data, alien biological history. This terminal contains data mapping the complete biological history of a member of the alien species. The data set is hugely complex, but some basic facts can be reconstructed. It was grown from a seed. Oh, no, it says grown from seed 1,708 Earth years ago, separated from broodlings for early, early for special training. Inducted into Temple of Research as, as the youngest ever initiate, aged 96. Downloaded, excuse me, a corrupted data set and was stored for three years for refactoring. Relocated to the Outer Galaxy Cluster to support disease research endeavors. Relocated to 4546B for high priority disease research. 
contracted Carabacterium was stored in Sanctuary 3, corporeal body safely disposed of. Those sounds are terrifying. Please, please don't come and bother me. But, okay, so we've we've got a, a kind of mind storage versus kind of body thing here. Which... Where is he? Again, though. Kind of mental... Mental download. Definitely something that the uh, Altera lot are going to want from us, surely. But what I think we're going to do is I'm... I'm Whilst we're arguably safe down here, I feel safer with the with my jelly ray friends up at the top here. So what we're gonna do is we go back and we're gonna go chill with them. As far away from the screaming bastards as possible. And then I think we'll call it quits here. For the time being. Ah. Oh. Mushrooms mean relative safety. Okay, let's let's just hide a little further in just so that if something does come to get us it won't. And also there are spade fish and things that we can eat here just quickly. So right, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna save here because sod those screaming bastards i don't care for them but otherwise guys thank you very much for watching and uh, i'll see you in the video tomorrow take care thank you very much for watching guys if you enjoyed this video then please drop us a like share this video and subscribe for more and i'll see you in the video tomorrow take care